is a subject um, electrotechnics and four. Right, and our electrical transformers, we are going to look at the principle of operation of the transformer, we'll look at the transformer ratios, we'll look at the development of the equivalent circuit, we'll also look at the approximate equivalent circuit and the calculations that are involved in that. We'll look at the uh, voltage regulation of the transformer and we'll also lastly look at the, uh, the, the percent um, efficiencies of the transformer and uh, also the three phase transformers. Right, as I said, we'll start with the principle of operation of the transformer. So, basically, what is an electrical transformer, right? Uh, by definition, an electrical transformer is a device that is used for either lowering or raising a voltage in alternating current circuits with a corresponding increase or decrease in the uh, current, right? Uh, essentially, the transformer is made up of uh, two windings, one the primary and secondary windings, right? And these are then electrically, the primary and the secondary windings are isolated from each other, and but they are basically magnetically uh, coupled to the core. Right? So, how does this device uh, operate? We are saying that it is electrically isolated from the primary and the secondary windings. So, you usually supply an AC voltage on the primary side, right? And then a magnetic flux, an alternating magnetic flux, will be set up in the in the secondary windings, uh, right, through the transformer core, right. So this uh, setup uh, in uh, AC or alternating uh, current uh, flux then induces a voltage on the secondary side. Hence, we get what is called a mutual inductance, right? There are a couple of other advantages of the transformer, so we'll just look at a few of them, and these include one, and the transformer requires less maintenance. I said in the definition that the transformer is a static uh, device, so that means there is no moving part in the machine, right? And then we will then have less maintenance. The second one is that they are highly efficient, right? High efficiency, right? The efficiencies can go to up to plus or minus 97 efficient. So that means if I input a certain amount of power, I can get plus minus seven, uh, 97 percent on the output side of that particular power. And lastly, the last uh, advantage that we we'll look at is the fact that their operation is uh, silent, right? It's the operation is basically silent. As I said in the introduction again, they are static devices, it means there's no moving part. So therefore their operation will definitely be silent. So and the next thing that we we'll look at now is the transformer ratios, right? And also we we'll look at the ratings of our transformer. What I'm talking about when we talk about the transformer ratios, we are talking about the voltage per turn uh, ratio, right? We are told that uh, the voltage on the primary side of the transformer divided by the voltage on the secondary side of the transformer, I'm talking about the transformer windings, is always equal to the number of turns on the primary windings divided by the number of turns on my secondary windings, right? So this ratio is also equal to the current now on the secondary side divided by the current on the uh, primary side. So these equations are giving us 
the transformer ratio or the transformation ratio on the particular transformer. And these equations are what we can refer to as our governing equations for our transformation process. Right? So the next, also as part of these equations, we know that from this I can then say that uh, the current on the primary side multiplied by the voltage of the primary will always be equal to the current on the secondary side multiplied by the voltage of that particular um, secondary side, like that. And this is our transformer equations. All of the calculations that we'll be looking at will be mostly based on that. And also if we are just looking at the power or the true power, we know that the input power P in will then be equal to the product of the S input voltage or the supply voltage multiplied by the supply current. All of this multiplied by the power factor cos theta of your transformer. Right? And this implies that the output power P out is then equal to the voltage on the secondary side multiplied by the current on the secondary side I2 multiplied by the cos theta or the power factor of my transformer. Right? The second part of this is talking about the ratings of the transformer. Right? Ratings of the transformer on a physical transformer, if you were to just go maybe in a substation and you find one transformer, if you go at the back and you find the nameplate. So on the nameplate there, they usually put all the ratings of that particular transformer. But in most cases, we uh, use the apparent power rating to rate our transformer. So apparent power, we know that's the S value. And we are told that the apparent power on the primary side, S1, will always be equal to the apparent power on the secondary side. And this is true because apparent power is the product of your voltage and current. So also this is also equal to the voltage on the secondary side multiplied by the current on the what? On the uh, primary side, like that. But right? usually the ratings of, of the transformer and uh, the products of the vo vo voltage and current will then give you the rating as uh, usually it's KVA or sometimes we can use even MVA uh, ratings. Right. So in the next video, shortly we'll be just working on an example that talks to the transformation ratios and also the ratings of the particular transformer. Thank you.